Understanding how a sonar operates will help you make sense of the information it provides as well as applying it correctly to your desired style of fishing. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know. This is how it works. The sonar sends a pulse of ultrasound in the shape of a cone that travels down the water column. Any objects that are in the path will reflect some of the sound back towards the sonar and the rest of the ultrasound will continue towards the bottom. The bottom will then reflect the rest of it. The sonar receives these reflections and calculates how long it took for the sound to return. Based on this, it is able to accurately tell you how deep is the water as well as any fish that pass through the cone. Depending on the model, deeper sonars send between 10 to 15 pulses of ultrasound per second. Because of this, you are able to see a live feed of what is happening in your sonar cone. In this recording, you can see how a lure placed under the sonar moves up and down in real time. Fish that enter the sonar cone are also displayed immediately. Even though the sonar scans in a cone, it displays information on your screen in vertical lines which will scroll from right to left because the sonar is continuously scanning. Here is another example. Let's say the sonar sends a single pulse of ultrasound which goes down to the bottom and then bounces back up. It receives information from a three-dimensional cone but will display it using a thin vertical line like this. When looking at your screen, it is important to understand that this represents time, not distance. As the sonar scans, new information will scroll from the right side and old information will be moved to the left. A full screen scan contains about a minute of sonar readings. Most sonar models have a selection of beam angles. Wide beams are good for finding fish quickly because they cover a large area. They provide a less detailed image and are less accurate in finding bottom features. Narrow beams provide a very detailed image and are more accurate in finding features and displaying bottom hardness. They are less likely to show you fish. When you see fish on your screen, keep in mind that they are likely not directly under the sonar, but somewhere within the cone. Lastly, sonars have a blind zone near the surface of the water in which they cannot detect fish. Wide beams have larger blind zones, narrow beams have smaller ones. You can identify the blind zone by this blue line that you will see at the top of your sonar readings. So, if you see a fish swim directly under the sonar and it doesn't show you anything, it means it was in the blind zone. 